Welcome back, welcome back, any and all. Glad you all could come back, not only to hear the word, but be doers of the word. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I hope when you woke up this morning, you told Father God, thank you. I hope you gave him all the honor, praise, and glory, because we know it belonged to him and only him. Hallelujah. We didn't wake up on our own. We can do absolutely nothing of our own. Glory be to God. I love you all with the love of the Lord, and Father God loves you more. Let us go right into prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, we come to you today to say thank you. We thank you, Father God, for who you are, who you are to us, for us, and in us. We're grateful for any and everything that you do, have done, and will do. Help us, Father God, to be content where we are. Help us to be still and know that you are God. Let us not lean to our own understanding, but acknowledge you in all thy ways, so you may direct our paths, because everything you do is for our own good, whether we understand it or not. We know that, uh, Father, there are many that are troubled, but let not your heart be troubled. Hallelujah. The Lord is with us. He has always been with us. He is the same God yesterday, today, and forever. He is a God that changed not. Do not be weary or worried in well-doing. Stand upright at all times. Be in a reflection of the Most High God. Help us, Father God, to do that. We ask in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, we thank you for your daily provisions. We thank you, Father God, for your love, your outpouring of love upon your children. We thank you, Father God, for teaching us, for guiding us, for giving us uh, the gifts we need to help us along the way, to help us to walk that good walk that good uh, walk of faith. Hallelujah. We walk by faith and not by sight. Glory be to God. Thank you, Father God, for equipping us, giving us the full armor that we need. We need your word, and let us all hear the word. Not only hear the word, be doers of the word. Glory be to God. We can't just be hearers, we must be doers. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you for your outstretched stones. We, we all take hold and never let go. Lord knows I am holding on to the master's hand. I have no intentions of letting go. For God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I live. And for God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I shall die. Jesus Christ, Nazareth. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you for your long suffering, not easy to anger, trace that we all need. Thank you, Father God, for the gift of your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus, the blood of the Lamb, for the remission of our sins, paid in full. And we know we need to work out our own salvation in fear and trembling of the Most High, and we must study to show thyself approved. Thank you, Father God, for the gift of the Holy Spirit, also known as the Comforter, that guides us to all truth. Father God, may we open our ears, pay diligent attention to what's going on around us, be careful of what we're listening to, what we're taking in, our eye sockets, our ears, who we following. Let us not be followers. Let us be leaders. Hallelujah. Let us seek you. Let us seek the kingdom of God. And all is righteousness. And all other things will be added there too. Hallelujah. Father God, we love you. There's none like you. None can compare to you. None can take the place of you. None can pluck us from your hands. And nothing can separate us from the love of God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you for your holy angels that encamp around us and watch over us day and night. Even while we work and play and while we at rest. Thank you, Father God, for the gift of your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father God, for the gift of the Holy Spirit that guides us to all truth. Thank you, Father God, that you sent your only begotten Son to set an example for us, to teach us how to live Christ-like, to strive for holiness and holiness only, to live a life of righteousness for ye name's sake. Yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we fear no evil, for thou art with us. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort us. Thou preparest a table before us in the presence of thine enemies. Thou anointest our head with oil. Thy cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we'll dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen, amen, amen. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray for all the brethren and the saints to be on one accord, and that is holiness. Holiness only, nothing else matters. There's absolutely no excuses and no compromising whatsoever. Holiness only. Without it, no man is going to see God and no man is going to get into the kingdom of heaven. 
Jesus is coming back. And he's coming back sooner than any man would think. Don't no man know the day of the hour except the Father. And he's coming back for a spotless, blameless, unblemished bride without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. Let us all get our houses in order. And that's not just our physical houses, our spiritual houses, our mental houses. Let us get ready. Let us be ready at all times. Because no man know the day of the hour that the Lord shall come in. Hallelujah. We only know the seasons based on the time and what we see things going. And we know the things that are to come. But the past, hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. We know that through God's word, the Bible, hallelujah. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we repent for all our wrongdoing, past, present, and future transgressions. We are crucified our flesh. We don't live a life of sin. But we all have fallen short of the glory. Not one is good, not one but God. Please forgive us where we fall short, my Father. And that's for every generation, past, present, and future transgressions. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, if we unknowingly or knowingly open any doorways and ways to evil, they're now closed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. An evil curse, evil generation, or curse, evil covenant, witchcraft, spells, voodoo, any and every form of witchcraft, any and every form of sorcery, they're all broken. They're all broken right here, right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We overtake them all, bind them, and cast them down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We proclaim Jesus Christ and he alone. We confess Jesus Christ. He is King of kings and Lord of lords. He is our Lord and Savior. He is the propitiation for our sins. He lives on the right hand of the Father in majesty. He's our intercessor. He's our mediator. He's a reconciliation between us and the Father. Yes, he was crucified, but he was resurrected three days later from the grave. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. He is risen. Know that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We confess Jesus Christ. We proclaim Jesus Christ and he alone in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we know no weapons formed against us shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Who is our Lord and Savior, we pray. Hallelujah. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we plead the blood of Jesus over all the listeners, all those in the body of Christ, all our families, loved ones, and friends. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we ask that you please place a head of protection, not only a head of protection, a firewall for protection around all the listeners, all those in the body of Christ, all our family members, loved ones, and friends. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we ask may you please bless all the listeners, bless those in the body of Christ, all our family members, loved ones, and friends. Only you know what we have need of, Father God, is your will, your way, hallelujah. And we know no weapons formed against us shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, as we go through this day, we ask that you help us to God. Please help us to God. Our eyes, heart, mind, and soul at all times. Because evil's waiting to pounce even at the door. And we're not letting them in. No, we're not. Thank you, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, for bringing us from the dark into your marvelous light. Hallelujah. 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 A holy, pure, righteous, knowing no sin. Just God. A life was given for us to have life. Therefore, our lives, and this is a holy, pure life. Therefore, our lives don't belong to us, and our vessels are holy, because our Father which art in heaven is holy. And these holy vessels belong to the Holy Spirit, and He alone, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Let us be a help us, Father God, to be a reflection of you in everything we say and what we do. Let our light so shine before men that it show our good works and glorify our Father which art in heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Let every word that come out of our mouth be a blessing and not a curse. And everything we do, let it be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. That be your will, my Father. Hallelujah. Let it be so. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Glory be to God. Father God, we can't say thank you enough. Help us to be bold as lions and open our mouths. There are many that have something to say that are afraid. They're afraid of what other people think. Don't worry about what man can do to you. You better worry about the one. You better fear the one that can not only kill the body, but it can also kill, turn the body and the body and that soul into hell. It is the thirst will never be quenched, and he'll be weeping and gnashing the teeth. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Help us to be bold as lions and open our mouths. Because the Lord is pouring out His Spirit upon all flesh. Lots of children have something to say too. But if you're not in the Lord, these children are going to be ashamed to open their mouth. 
Don't let them be ashamed. Don't you cause one of them little ones to stumble. Don't you do it. Don't cause anyone to stumble. I don't care who it is. Open your mouth and be bold as lions. And for you little guys out there, if the Lord is giving you something to say, a dream or a vision, whatever it may be, and the Father tells you to speak up, speak up. You be bold as a lion. You be bold as a lion. You be bold like little David was who fought against Goliath. He wasn't ashamed. He fought. He wasn't afraid. He knew the God was he knew the God that we serve, Almighty God, was with is with him. Just like you know God is with you. Hallelujah. Be bold as lions and speak. We're not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. What is the power of God into salvation? To everyone that believe it, to the Jews first and also to the Greeks, and we believe it and receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Please open your mouth. You may save a soul. Father God may have given you a vision, a prophecy, a revelation, an exhortation, a testimony, whatever it may be. Open your mouth because you may save a soul, even pull that soul out of the pits of hell. But if you don't open your mouth, that blood is on your hand. Hallelujah. I don't want any blood on my hands. I don't want to cause anybody to stumble. I'm going to tell you the truth because the truth shall set you free. And whomever the Son sets free is free indeed. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Father God, we can't say thank you enough. We pray for the comfort of all, Father, that you would, you would comfort any and all that are in need of comfort. Many saints are in need of comfort as well. I'm sure they're going through a lot of spiritual warfare. I'm sure of it. Hmm, I'm going through it myself, but that's all right. We will not be weary and well-doing. We, we looking for, we giving Father God praise while we go through it. Why? Because we know what we're looking forward to, where our hope stands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to so ever be with the Lord. Hallelujah. That's what we're looking forward to. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And at the coming of the Lord, we want to be counted worthy. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, we can't say thank you enough. We're so very grateful and thankful to you and for you. We're grateful for who you are to us, for us, and in us. We pray on behalf of all these marriages. We pray on behalf of all the marriages all over the world. We pray for all the babies all over the world and those that can't do for themselves, including the elderly. My God, yesterday I saw a story. I saw it. It was a headline. I didn't read the whole thing, but the headline was uh, the daughter who was 59 years old killed her own mother. The mother was 84, 85. She killed her mother. You know, we living in we living in the last days. People's hearts are cold, growing cold. Don't you let your heart be go don't let your heart grow cold. Don't harden your hearts. Love, because God is love. Please love. You know, I pray for her that she would receive the Lord um and cry out to the Lord for forgiveness for what she done. I'm not wishing bad on her. I pray that she seek the Lord. Because see that's evil that used them. And evil looking for any vessel he may use. Don't allow yourselves to be used for evil. Don't allow it. Because then when it's all said and done, the evil one will use you. And then he'll laugh about you after it. Not only that, he's telling on you anyway. The Lord sees and knows all things. But you know, the evil one is always accusing. So he's telling on you no matter what you do anyway. And then after you do what he, do, what he tell you to do, then he come and reap. What, do you, what am I talking about? Hallelujah. He come and reap. You know what the Grim Reaper does? He come and, and reap what you you was gonna reap what you sow. And if you sow in if you sow in concord, if, if I mean if you sow in um discord, I'm excuse me, if you sow in discord among people, if you're gossiping, if you're putting your name on people, if you're wishing bad on people, you shall reap. And when you let the evil one use you and you do those kind of things, you will reap. And when you work for the devil, he's coming back for his. Because he know you belong to him. If you allowed yourself to be used for evil, he coming for you. Because you belong to him. Hallelujah. Come on, let's not uh, give, don't give him the time. Don't give him the day. Don't give him an hour. Don't give him a minute. A holy, pure, righteous life was given for us to have life. That's who we belong to. He laid down his life for us. Jesus laid down his life for us. Not anybody else. We don't owe anybody else anything. You owe the Lord thy God. You owe Jesus.
Because he gave his life for you. He laid it down freely. He, he, he it wasn't taken from him. He gave it freely. Because he could have taken it back if he wanted to. He loves us enough to be what his father wanted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, we love you. We honor you. We praise you. We worship you. We exalt you. God bless you, Father God. Let us all learn to live peaceful with all men. Live at peace. Be at peace. But only the peace that Father can give you, not what man can give you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We love you, my Father. With every being of us from our head to our toe, we love you with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. And yes, we love our neighbor as we love ourselves. Hallelujah. And we love our beautiful brothers and sisters in Christ. Father God, we love you with an everlasting love and will never forsake thee. And we seal this prayer to you, my Father. In our mighty name is Jesus Christ, who is our Lord and Savior. With a holy kiss. And Father, use us for your glory and your glory alone. Because everything I do is for your glory and your glory alone. You are greatly to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. And your name is to be hallowed each and every day, all day throughout the day. And we love you, Father. And it's an everlasting love. And we seal this prayer with a holy kiss. And it's in the mighty, holy, precious, mighty name of Jesus Christ, who is our Lord and Savior, that we pray. Amen and hallelujah. Amen, amen. And let us not stop there. If you haven't given your life to Christ, what are you waiting for? You have the opportunity to do so right here, right now. If you're ready to receive Jesus Christ into your life to be your Lord and Savior, you may say this prayer and, then, and let him and accept him into your life. Hallelujah. But only if you're sincere. If you're not ready to walk with him, then don't bother. Because the evil want to be glad to keep you. All right? Because you say, choose ye this day whom ye may serve. If you're not serving the Lord, you're serving the devil anyway. Know that. A lot of us are, are ignorant. We think because we say Lord out of our mouths that we saved. Oh no. Because we said a one time prayer, we saved. No, you have to live holy. You have to live holy. It's a requirement. The Lord thy God says, love the Lord thy God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. But you got to study to show thyself approved. You got to live holy. That's what it is. It's a requirement. It's not what we think. We don't lean to our own understanding. We got to honor the Lord in everything that we say and do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please say this prayer if you want to receive Jesus Christ. Because it is time. Hallelujah. I pray to you, Jesus Christ. The Son of God. I am sorry. And please forgive me. For my sins against your word. I believe you are the only begotten Son of God. And you died for our sins. According to scriptures, and was buried and rose again the third day. Thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord. Jesus Christ, I am saved and have a chance at everlasting life. Help me to study your word and obey it and repent daily. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. 
Now, please repent for your sins. That means you're going to turn from your wicked ways. You're going to strive for holiness and holiness only. And you're not to sin on purpose. And you ought to be baptized down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Congratulations, my new brothers and sisters, to the body of Christ. And remember this. It is not a religion. It's a personal relationship between you and the Lord thy God, a commitment and love. We in the body of Christ, we welcome you. Welcome my new brothers and sisters to the body of Christ. May we edify one another, pray with and pray for one another, pray without ceasing, fast, bear one another's burdens, give love and charity because they cover a multitude of sin. Again, congratulations my new brothers and sisters to the body of Christ. We love you and Father God loves you more. God bless you. To each and every one of us, including myself, Please read your Bible daily, which is God's word. Read it daily. Go down on your knees in prayer and cry out to the Father. The version that you, the version that you read, preferably the King James Version. They got a lot of perverted versions out there right now. Okay? The King James Version, preferably. Go down on your knees in prayer and cry out to the Father. If you cry out to him in sincerity and truth, he knows your heart. He will answer you. He will answer you. Not only that, he will teach you what the Bible says. He will teach you. You need not ask a man. He'll teach you. But one thing that is for certain, you must read the Bible yourself. Don't let somebody tell you what it says. You read it. Because so many people have misinterpreted it and fit in the scriptures to fit their beliefs. So please, read the Bible yourself and cry out to the Father. He will make you understand it. He loves you. He wants that personal relationship with each and every one of his children. God loves all of us. He doesn't have any respect to persons. And, and not only that, if you've done anything, whatever it may be, go out to the Father and, and repent and cry out to him. He'll forgive you because he loves you. All right? He loves you. He loves us all. With that being said, we're going to go right into the scriptures. And <laughs> glory be to God. Obviously, it is something that the Father wants us to pick up on Luke 23 and chapters 23 and 24 because he gave it to me again. Hallelujah. Luke, we shall read. Father God has given me today Luke chapters 23 and 24 and we shall read them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 23. And the whole multitude of them arose and led him unto Pilate. Again, I'm talking about Jesus is who they're leading, they're taking and they began to accuse him, saying, We found this fellow perverting the nation and forbidding to give tribute to Caesar, saying that he himself is Christ a king. And Pilate asked him, saying, Are thou the king of the Jews? And he answered him and said, Thou sayest it. Then said Pilate to the chief priests and to the people, I find no fault in this man. And they were the more fierce, saying, He stirreth up the people, teaching throughout all Jewry, beginning from Galilee to this place. When Pilate heard of Galilee, he asked whether the man were Galilean. And as soon as he knew that he belonged unto Herod's jurisdiction, he sent him to Herod, who himself also was at Jerusalem at that time. And when Herod saw Jesus, he was exceeding glad, for he was desirous to see him of a long season, because he had heard many things of him, and he hoped to have seen some miracle done by him. Then he questioned with him in many words, but he answered him nothing. And a chief priest and scribe stood and vehemently accused him. And Herod, with his men of war, set him at naught and mocked him and arrayed him in a gorgeous robe and sent him again to Pilate. And the same day Pilate and Herod were made friends together, for before they were enmity between themselves. And Pilate when he had called together the chief priests and the rulers and the people, said unto them, Ye have brought this man unto me as one that perverted the people. And behold, I, having examined him before you, have found no fault in this man touching those things whereof ye accuse him. No, nor yet Herod, for I sent you to him. And lo, nothing worthy of death is done unto him. I will therefore chastise him and release him. 
for of necessity he must be released one of them at the feast. And they carried out all at once, saying, they cried out all at once, saying, Away with this man, and release unto us Barabbas, who for a certain sedition made in the city, and for murder was cast into prison. Pilate, therefore, willing to release Jesus, spake again to them. But they cried, saying, Crucify him, crucify him. And he said unto them the third time, Why, what, ha what evil hath he done? I have found no cause of death in him. I will therefore chastise him and let him go. And they were instant with loud voices, requiring that he might be crucified. And the voices of them and the, of the chief priests prevailed. And Pilate gave sentence that it should be as they required. And he released unto him, unto them, him that for sedition and murder was cast into prison, whom they had desired. But he delivered Jesus to their will. And as they led him away, they laid hold upon one Simon, a Cyrenian, a Cyrenian coming out of the country, and on him they laid the cross, that he might bear it after Jesus. And there followed him a great company of people, and of women, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, and of women, which also bewailed and lamented him. But Jesus turning unto them said, Daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For behold, the days are coming in which they shall say, Blessed are the barren, and the wombs that never bear. <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. Hmm. And a paps which never gave suck. Excuse me for a second. Let me give me a little drink. Hallelujah. 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 And where was I at? Hallelujah. I'm going to go again. But Jesus turning unto them said, Daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For behold, the days are coming, in the which they shall say, Blessed are the barren, and the wombs that never bear, and a paps which never gave suck. Then shall they begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, cover us. For if, the, if they do these things in a green tree, what shall be done in a dry? And there were also two other malefactors led with him to be put to death. And when they were come to the place, which is called Calvary, there they crucified him, and the malefactors, one on the right hand, and the other on the left. Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they parted his raiment and cast lots. And the people stood beholding, and the rulers also with them derided him, saying, He saved others, let him save himself, if he be Christ, the chosen of God. And the soldiers also mocked him, coming to him and offering him vinegar, and saying, If thou be the king of the Jews, save thyself. And a superscription also was written over him in letters of Greek and Latin and Hebrew. This is the king of the Jews. And one of the malefactors which were hanged railed on him, saying, If thou be Christ, save thyself and us. But the other answering rebuked him, saying, Dost not thou fear God, seeing thou art in the same condemnation? And we indeed justly will we receive the due reward of our deeds. But this man had done nothing amiss. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest unto thy kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, To day shalt thou be with me in paradise. And it was about the sixth hour, and there was a darkness over all the earth until the ninth hour. And the sun was darkened, and the veil of the temple was rent in the mist. Then when Jesus had cried with a loud voice, he said, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And having said thus, he gave up the ghost. Now when the centurion saw what was done, he glorified God, saying, Certainly this was a righteous man. And all the people that came together to that sight 
beholding the things which were done, smote their breasts and returned. And all his acquaintance and all the women that followed him from Galilee stood afar off, beholding these things. And behold, there was a man named Joseph, a counselor, and he was a good man and a just. The same had not consented to the counsel and deed of them. He was of Arimathea, a city of the Jews, who also himself waited for the kingdom of God. This man went unto Pilate and begged the body of Jesus. And he took it down and wrapped it in linen and laid it in the sepulcher that was hewn in stone, wherein never man before was laid. And that day was the preparation and the Sabbath drew on. And the women also, which came with him from Galilee, followed after him, and beheld the sepulchre, and how his body was laid. And they returned, and prepared spices and ointments, and rested the Sabbath day according to the commandment. Chapter 24 Now upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came unto the sepulchre, bringing the spices which they had prepared, and certain others with them. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulchre. And they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. And it came to pass, as they were much perplexed thereabout, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. And as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He is not here, but is risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men, and be crucified, and the third day rise again. And they remembered his words, and returned from the sepulchre, and told all these things unto the eleven, and to all the rest. It was Mary Magdalene, and Joanna, and Mary the mother of James, and other women that were with them, which told these things unto the apostles. And their words seemed to them as idle tales, and they believed them not. Then arose Peter, and ran unto the sepulchre, and stooping down, he beheld the linen clothes laid by themselves, and departed, wondering in himself at that which was come to pass. And behold, two of them went that same day to a village called Emmaus, which was from Jerusalem about threescore furlongs, and they talked together of all these things which had happened. And it came to pass that while they communed together and reasoned, Jesus himself drew near and went with them. But their eyes were holden that they should not know him. And he said unto them, What manner of communications are these that ye have one to another as ye walk and are sad? And the one of them, whose name was Cleopas, answering said unto him, Art thou only a stranger in Jerusalem, and hast not known the things which are come to pass there in these days? And he said unto them, What things? And they said unto him, Concerning Jesus of Nazareth, which was a prophet mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, and how the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death, and have crucified him. But we trusted that it had been he, which should have redeemed Israel. And beside all this, today is the third day since these things were done. Yea, and certain women also of our company made us astonished, which were early at the sepulchre. And when they found not his body, they came, saying that they had also seen a vision of angels, which said that he was alive. And certain of them, which were with us, went to the sepulchre and found it even so as the women had said. But him they saw not. Then he said unto them, O fools, and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Ought not Christ to have suffered these things, and to enter into his glory? And beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. And they drew nigh unto the village whither they went, and he made as though he would have gone further. But they constrained him, saying, Abide with us, for it is toward evening, and the day is far spent. And he went in to tarry with them. And it came to pass, as he sat at meat with them, he took bread, and blessed it, and brake, and gave to them. 
and their eyes were opened, and they knew him, and he vanished out of their sight. And they said one to another, Did not our heart burn within us while he talked with us by the way, and while he opened to us the scriptures? And they rose up the same hour, and returned to Jerusalem, and found the eleven gathered together, and them that were with them, saying, The Lord is risen indeed, and hath appeared to Simon. And they told what things were done in the way, and how he was known of them in breaking of bread. And as they thus spake, Jesus himself stood in the midst of them, and said unto them, Peace be unto you. But they were terrified and affrighted, and supposed that they had seen a spirit. And he said unto them, Why are ye troubled, and why do thoughts arise in your hearts? Behold my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Handle me, and see, for a spirit hath not flesh and bones, as ye see me have. And when he had thus spoken, he shewed them his hands and his feet. And while they yet believed not for joy, and wondered, he said unto them, Have ye here any meat? And he gave him a piece of a broiled fish, and of an honeycomb. And he took it, and did eat before them. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses, and in the prophets, and in the Psalms concerning me. Then opened he their understanding, that they might understand the scriptures, and said unto them, Thus it is written, and thus it behoves Christ to suffer, and to rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. And ye are witnesses of these things. And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with power from on high. And he led them out as far as to Bethany, and he lifted up his hands and blessed them. And it came to pass, while he blessed them, he was parted from them and carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him, and returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and were continually in the temple, praising and blessing God. Amen. Amen, amen, indeed. Hallelujah. 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 He is risen. Yes, he is. Glory be to God. I love you all with the love of the Lord, and Father God loves you more. Please tell your loved ones that you love them. But not promised tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. Tell all about Father God, who is Jesus Christ in the flesh. Father God is a Holy Spirit, and that Holy Spirit came down in that begotten body. That same Holy Spirit dwells within you and I, that we seek Him in sincerity and truth. With all our heart, mind, soul, and strength, we should hear from Him. Hallelujah. And don't have aught with anybody, please. Father says, learn to live peaceable with all men. So you must learn to live peaceable. You can agree to disagree, but you must have love because Father God is love. Okay? We don't condone sin. We don't partake of sin. But we love because Father God is love. Okay? We love all. And um, as the Father said, commandment, love the Lord thy God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And love your neighbors as you love yourself. You must do that. Hallelujah. If you have aught with anybody, please forgive them. I don't care who. He or she is, or what he or she have done to you. I don't care how long ago they've done it. You must ask forgiveness. Just as you wish your Father in heaven to forgive you for your sins and your transgressions, please forgive your fellow man. I don't care how many times or when he asks forgiveness, you forgive him. Okay? I love you all with the love of the Lord. That's why I tell you the truth. And Father God loves you more. You all have yourself a beautiful, blessed day. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. God bless you. Bye-bye.